to go about writing a battle scene, you have to look at it from all angles. You have to study the battle scene from both sides because, as they say, history is written by the victors. It's often very hard, for instance, to gauge how big medieval armies were. Um, I remember reading uh, one source about, um, I think it was the Battle of Falkirk, talking about the English having 80,000. Often these sizes of armies vary so much because they're being used as propaganda. A victor looks even more victorious if he fought and won against a massive foe. Once you've read all you can about these battles, it's best if you can to go to the battle site itself and try and understand the sort of terrain that would have been facing these armies. Um, this can be quite tricky. I mean, the Battle of Bannockburn site is still debated today. Once you've read all you can and you've hopefully been to the location, you basically just need to sit down and put yourself on that battlefield. You need to use your imagination at this point. What would you have smelt? What would you have felt? What would it have been like to go into this battle? Um, sensory sort of descriptions really play their part at this point. Luckily, I can never know what it was like to go into battle. Um, in fact, before I started writing Insurrection, I sat down and spoke to a former SAS commander about what it really was like to be in war, what it was like to fight for your life. Um, and this gave me an invaluable insight into the sort of deeper psyche of war, how it can affect you physically, mentally, emotionally, both before the battle, during it and after. Um, so hopefully by talking to him I've got a little bit of a deeper understanding into what it might have been like for these men facing a, a foe on a field um, and facing death.